we're done. Oh, shit. Is that it? We good? I think so. Yep. What's up, guys? This is Ricky and Ryan. Ryan. What's up? Uh, we are here on the 90 Days to Warped. Uh, ask uh, your questions and we will answer them to the best of our ability. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where's questions at? All right. Thank you, Glow. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, 250. Whoa. That's scary. Okay. So, no questions. Why not EMGs? Good question. Well, uh, nothing personal. Just like the sound of the, the Seymour Duncan's better. Sorry. Same. Ooh, already. What record label are you on now? Uh, we are still kind of uh, working on things. I can't say anything at the moment, otherwise I'll be beheaded later. Uh, we will have more information for you guys soon regarding that. Songs are you guys gonna play? They're coming so fast. I know. <laughs> you can actually. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. What do, uh, do you have, do you, you wanna answer? How is the album going along? It is coming along very, 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 very nicely. We're all very happy with how it's coming. It's great. Um, we're almost done piecing everything together. Yes, yeah, so close. Um, Worst thing about Warped, it's a, uh, the heat. <laughs> it's definitely a big factor. I, I don't think there can really be a worse thing besides the heat because the, it's basically like playing a barbecue party every day. What is not to like about that? Okay, let's, let's scroll down here. Oh, this is weird. Oh my god, this is scary. We're trying. We're watching, <laughs> currently, we're watching ourselves on a computer and also looking at comments on the computer and the phone, and it's just madness right now. Uh, uh, let's see. What was the thought process behind the Breaking Bad theme to Warp announcement? Well, uh, Ryan and I are very big Breaking Bad fans, and when we were asked to do a video announcement, that was, I mean, that was my first go-to thing because I've, I miss Breaking Bad so much. It's one of my favorite shows of all time and uh, what better way to kind of, you know, homage that than to make our own warp Tour announcement video in that theme. So that was the thought process behind it. Let's see. Favorite place to play shows? Oh, you have a favorite place? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, probably Australia. That's just my favorite place to be in general in the world. I mean, it's a nice place. Favorite place to play? I don't know if I have a favorite. I like, I like playing everywhere, no matter what, what we're, uh, where we're at. I like playing shows regardless of where we are, what, what the circumstance is. Mm -hmm. uh, where is Chris? Chris is currently uh, being the uh, dad and finishing what we should be doing right now. Uh, we are playing hooky from finishing writing and doing this for you guys. So. He's probably secretly watching us right now. Yeah, probably. 
Let's see. Do either of you ever suffer from writer's block? If so, how do you deal with it? <laughs> yes, we suffer from writer's block all the time. And uh, this record, we actually, that's really, really weird, but whenever we would get stuck or um, get frustrated, we would take a break and we'd go watch an episode of South Park <laughs> and then come back to writing. And for some reason, that just was like the magic touch where we, we, it would just clear our head, get our, our mind off the, off of the frustration and the issues at hand, and go back to work. So, I guess uh, you could try that and see if that works <laughs> if you're having writer's block. South Park. Uh, ooh. Let's see. The beard. The beard. Yeah. It's Don't a... worry, it's not staying for long. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Jesus. My God, there's so many. Are we excited for Warped? Yes, of course yeah. we are. Ryan, the beard, again. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we do when we're not doing a concert? Primarily writing, exercising, watching South Park. <laughs> Playing video games, yeah. reading. Uh, Whatever we pretty much can to keep ourselves busy. Do you like The Walking Dead? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, I like. I watched the first season. I liked it, but then I just lost interest after that. So. so. Supernatural. You know, I've heard a lot about the show Supernatural, um, but I've never sat down to watch an episode of it. So I don't know anything about it other than a lot of people talk about it. So maybe that's a sign for me to actually take a take a peek. Um, will we come to your wedding? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just send us a send us an invite. Actually, I should say we'll come if we're not on tour or not doing anything else. That's that you know, the band has to come first, unfortunately. Sorry guys. Uh Let's see. What band would you like to tour with? Uh, I'm gonna say that has already happened, but another one would probably, I would say Linkin Park, that'd be cool. That's a good one. How about you? I would say probably Ramstein. Hey, yeah, that's a good one too. You wanna come more in this? A little, little cut off here. <laughs> um, okay. see best places to play shows in the UK man you guys are really trying to separate us trying to get trying to play favorites yeah we can't I don't think we can pick a favorite place in the UK because all of the UK is awesome it's insane every time we go there so you guys are all in our hearts we love you all um, ooh, love from Germany Thank you. We love you, Germany. I wonder what time it is. There. Song you're most proud of, that's a good one. What song are you most proud of? Ooh. Death March. That's mine. I love that song. I probably, my, my, my most proud song is probably something off of this new, new record, so I can't, would. so I can't talk about it yet. Uh, so. I guess that will come with the Spotify commentary, I'm sure, if that's a thing. <laughs> Whoa. Let's see. Song you dislike the most to play live? It's a tough question. Do you have one? Um, I don't know if I have a, 
something that I don't like to play live. I like playing all of them. It's just, yeah. I think it's more so the crowd interaction. Mm -hmm. If the crowd doesn't respond to a certain song, it's kind of... It's more about the energy that yeah. we get back from it that kind of makes the songs like, you know, easier to play live for you guys. <laughs> Not, I shouldn't say easier, that makes it sound like a task. More, more fun, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I guess it just depends on show by show mm -hmm. basis. Excited to be in Denver again. Yes, we are very excited to be in Denver again. Uh, let's see. Where's balls? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Tweet at him and ask him. Uh, let's see. Rolling in. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read all of these comments. Uh, what do we think of New Zealand? That's a good question. La beautiful. The last time that we were there was our very first time in New Zealand, and it was fantastic. It was great. I would love to go back again and maybe not even play a show, just to go back and hang out there. Um. <laughs> Do we ever get nervous before going on stage? There's been times. Uh, it's maybe specific shows that are kind of more... Uh, I don't know, nerve-wracking. Some festivals that are bigger than others that you're not used to playing in front of that many people can yeah. get in, get you a little bit. I think it's also, um, it's also, we also get more nervous, well, I don't know about anyone else, but I get more nervous when we play a first show after having a long break. Yeah. Like the first show of Warp Tour is probably gonna stress me out just because we haven't played a show in, you know, months, so. Um, what goes through your head when you're playing on stage? This is a great question, and I'm so glad that someone asked that because we always talk about this. <laughs> because you would think that we're thinking about the song or the... Literally nothing. Nothing goes through your head. It's either, it's either nothing or you're thinking about something completely different, like what you had for dinner or what you have to do tomorrow. And it's mm -hmm. so weird because I feel like there's such a in the moment type feeling when you're on stage, but your mind is just not there. And it's the weirdest experience. It's like a weird out of body thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the best I can explain it. Uh, you let me know if, you've, if you uh, see anything. I'm looking. The ear. There's just some of your questions that we can't answer because it, some of it's a secret. Yeah, so. there's only so much that we're allowed to talk about, unfortunately. Sorry, we don't have many announcements for you. Uh, oh, favorite animals, huh? I'm starting to think I might have to keep this with all these comments. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Canadian tours this year. Don't know. Not sure yet. Let's see. We might have a good question there. How does your upcoming album different differ from the previous ones? And the sound is the sound going to be similar to Reincarnate? Do you want to answer that? <laughs> uh, it's got a, a lot of vibes from pre all the previous albums, uh, but there's also a lot of sounds that we've never even heard before that are, are new to us that, in a, the best way possible, that I think it'll, it'll surprise everyone. And, and I, it's hard to say without <laughs> giving away too much. Well, you know, it's it's uh, the best of all the worlds. It's, I think what Ryan's trying to get across is that it's something, 
when we listen to everything we have so far, it's a lot of stuff that I don't think that we've ever heard before. That's, and I know that that sounds scary because, but it's not meant to be to be scary at all. It's it's still us completely. It's, yes, it's still us. We didn't vary from the reincarnate sound. There's a little bit of you know dabbling in other things that we decided to incorporate in that sound um, in a couple of different tracks, but. Overall, it's us. It's just very, very, very defined us. So it's basically reincarnate on uh, steroids. <laughs> so um, and hopefully everyone thinks that it's something that they've never heard before too, because that would, you know, be great to do something innovative. Uh, let's see. Will there be a new song at Warped? If you didn't catch the two uh, Warp Tour announcement videos, uh, yes, there's going to be a new song played at Warped. And I died of learning that information in one of the videos, so. <laughs> Ooh, inspiration for the new album. Inspiration Sorry. for this album has been all over the map. And it's really, really bizarre to hear some of them come together because there's been uh, some that are, you know, typical typical bands that you would think like Ramstein and Cradle of Filth and uh, and then there there's kind of the far reaching ones like Prodigy and uh, I'm trying to think of who else. Some more of the electro type stuff. Yeah. Like not full electro but more of the sounds that they use to mold it into motionless. I what feel is like that phase. I don't know. <laughs> do you like Legend of Zelda? Yes, I do. I love Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is the best game ever. What is something you always take on tour? Besides your clothes. <laughs> oh shit. Everything. Everything I own goes into one suitcase and then I take it with me for a month or two. There you go. Go pens. Yeah. Uh, ooh. What date is the album dropping? Unfortunately, we uh, cannot answer that. We have a... Uh, We'll have more information in the future. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Bad habits. Mm. I used to smoke. Now I don't. <laughs> I was a smoker for 10 years. Now I'm not. Uh, I uh, bite my nails. Um, let see. I have a... I mean, I don't know if I, I would consider this a bad habit, but... I have a tendency to talk to myself in weird voices and uh, just entertain myself when I'm alone. And uh, unfortunately, Ryan has to deal with it because he yeah. lives with me, so he just hears it. Yeah, I could vouch for that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd love to play at your funeral, <laughs> for sure. You write us in your will that you want us to play at your funeral, we'll be there. Granted, we're still alive after you. Yes. And playing music. Are you planning a headliner with the release of the new album? That's typically I, how it goes. I, I would imagine so. Uh, I don't know what's happening in, in regards to that yet, but... Uh, it's way too soon to tell. Yeah. For anything. Did you guys go to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal? We did not this year. Unfortunately, so okay. Let's see here. Will you ever change your hair color? Do you want me to change my hair color? <laughs> Do you want Ryan to have different hair color? Uh, if so, what colors? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy with black. So. Yep. <laughs> Would you tour with Avenged Sevenfold if you had the chance? 
No, never. <laughs> Absolutely not. I think that's yep. a that's a no brainer. <laughs> Let's see. How heavy is the new album going to be? <laughs> well. Go ahead, Ryan. It's heavy. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a uh, it's pretty heavy. Let's see. A lot of New Zealand love out there. There is a lot of New Zealand love. Does this Q and A have a direction? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not supposed to have a direction. It's supposed to be us answering your guys' questions, no matter how off the wall they are. Yep, we're so, just here to hang out with you guys. So, Catherine Jean, if you have a question, ask and we will answer it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Favorite video game or console? Oh shit. Lately I've been on a N64 kick on my Mac. I got like one of those emulator things, so it's been taking up some of my time. Going back to the old school. Yeah. Okay, I need to clear this up. There's a thing in here from Kalen Walters that says, why don't you like pizza? <laughs> Okay, what I meant by that is I only like pizza in our area, in the Northeast Pennsylvania area. We have the literally the best pizza in the world, and eating pizza anywhere else, it's just not the same. It doesn't taste good to me, and there's just nothing about it I like. So that's what I meant when I don't like pizza. I don't like pizza outside of Northeast Pennsylvania. It's a fact that we have the best pizza. Love from California. We're in California right now. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, shout out for my friend Rose. Hi, Rose. What's up? Has Ghost run out of horror characters to dress up as? I'm sure that he hasn't. <laughs> I'm no. sure that he has a long, long list of people that he would like to portray live. Yeah. Who was rocking the Michael Myers mask? That would be Ghost. Yep. Uh, sending love from PA. Covering the lips on It's a really tough question. Yeah, we'll come back. Any plans for a new record? Yes, we are in California right now finishing up the writing process. We start in the studio tomorrow. Uh, for any for people that are that are just now joining and asking where where Chris is, Chris is in the studio right now. So, uh, we're playing hooky and doing this Q&A with you guys instead. Let's see. Where's Ghost? Ghost is... I don't know where Ghost is. Probably at home. Yeah. Ryan, <laughs> her dad loves you. <laughs> hey, Dad. Where is the makeup? Okay, I knew that this question was gonna be asked. Okay, I have an excuse for me because I had LASIK done last week and I'm not supposed to wear makeup for about a month. So, that's my excuse. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have one at the moment. <laughs> I got this thing. Also, I think contrary to what people believe, we typically don't go hang out with makeup on outside of band stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just too much work to do it. 
I mean, usually we would do do it for stuff like this, but yeah, caught us on the off day. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. How do you stay entertained on tour? Video games, books, just anything we can imagine to keep ourselves busy, we'll try to do. It gets a, a little crazy in the bus spending too much time at once there, so try to sometimes go out and do things if we have the time. If you had to kill an, a member of the band, who would it be, Rick? Oh my god, that is literally the worst question I could I could answer. <laughs> Ryan, are you excited for Good Charlotte? How would you know that I like Good Charlotte? But yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm very excited. What got you into the music you play? <laughs> Damn. Whoops. All right. <laughs> All right, so what got you into music? Uh, do I have to start from the beginning? I mean, is there a way you can start from the middle? <laughs> no. Um, I was just kind of, you know, raised on old metal music from my dad and shit, and uh, was always curious to start playing an instrument. And I got a drum set and a guitar, and started taking lessons and hated it, stopped for a few years, and then I, I was just inspired by, by, like, I found heavy music, like Slipknot or old Avenged Sevenfold and stuff like that, and just made me want to try and play those kind of riffs and stuff. How about you? Uh... I'm just reading these qu these questions. Uh, I got into this type of music through. How did I get into this kind of music? Um, my kind of segue into this music was through him. I started listening to them, and then through them I found Cradle of Filth, and then through them I found. Um, I think It Dies Today was the first kind of metalcore band that I had ever heard. And it just blew my mind, and uh, that was kind of my dive into this music. Let's see. Did we get to drink with Amon Marth when we did Mayhem? No, we didn't. Well, I didn't. I don't know if Ryan did. No. I honestly probably couldn't tell you what they look like unless they were what their music sounds like in giant Viking metal dudes. <laughs> Which, it's um, pretty sick. Let's see. Who is the most talkative in the band? Not me. I guess it depends on the situation, because I can not talk if I'm just not in the mood to, but I can also talk for hours and hours and hours in the right setting, so it just depends. Is this the AFI dude? Is that referring to me? Because I would gladly accept that compliment. Uh. This is a good one for you. How to do the perfect pinch harmonic. Ryan is the the master of pinch pinch harmonics and squeals and all that good stuff. I don't know how he does it. There's uh, no real advice. I mean, you kind of pick it and then hit your thumb at the same time on the string that makes the harmonic. It's just you work on it. It takes a little bit. It could, it could uh, depend on the picks you're using, the strings, 
maybe the guitar, how much gain you have, everything. Just practice. Here's a good a good one. I want my precious album now. Well, Solomon, we also want our precious album now, but it takes time to uh, write and record an album. So unfortunately, for both you and us, we have to wait. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> Oh my god. I like fish sticks. Guess what, awesome. my friend? That makes you a gay fish. Yes. Do we love our fans? Of course we do. We love all of our fans worldwide, and no matter where you are, how you live your life, we love all of you equally. How long do you and your producer spend on finding a guitar tone? It really depends. If the producer knows what we're going for right off the bat, then it can be a you know a 20-minute ordeal. Whereas if they don't, or we kind of have conflicting opinions, we could spend uh, how many d days was it? The last album, like four days or something, three or four days that we spent just finding a tone. So it really depends. I don't know how it's going to be for this this album yet, but. Um, I guess we'll uh, we'll see. Is Vinny returning to the band? Vinny never left, so <laughs> yes, he will be there this this warp tour. Unless he doesn't want to, and he hasn't told us yet, and here's he'll a, be there. Here's a good one. How would you describe a MIW show for fans that will see you guys live for the first time on Warped? Well, that's hard to say for uh, seeing us first time on Warped because Warped is a very different setting than our typical club shows because club shows we have tons of lights and uh, live production and stuff whereas Warped because it's outside and during the day we don't usually have that kind of stuff because it, you know using lights during the daytime doesn't make, it wouldn't make a difference so uh, I mean I would say for first time First timer seeing us on Warped, if you don't want to get crushed, don't stand in the middle and don't stand at the barricade because otherwise you will die. <laughs> uh, let's see. What game show do you, do you guys do you guys want to be on if given the chance? <laughs> do we want to answer that? Yeah, I would love to go on The Price is Right and I would also love to go on what was the other one I'm thinking of? Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune Jeopardy. would be cool too. Not Jeopardy, I would not do good at that. I would like to be on Wheel of Fortune or The Price is Right. Or uh, Family Feud. What do you guys like better, Vinny or Waffles? I'm not sorry, man. <laughs> uh, any other future live streams that we know of? Not at this time, no. But when we do have one, you guys will be the first to know. <clears throat> Let's see. What MIW album do you all like the most? Obviously the new one. Uh, it's always the new one, because the new one is where we are as a band at this particular moment. Where we've kind of, you know, come together and this is who our band is now, you know, that kind of thing, so. Let's see. Yeah. So with that being said, what genre would you put it in? <laughs> I would say uh, metal. I don't, Still metal. I don't believe in uh, sub-genres because I think that that's bullshit, but uh, so I'm just going to say metal and keep it at that. Let's see. Will you ever be back to Belfast? Yes, we will. Don't know when, but we will definitely be <laughs> back. It's pretty much safe to say we'll be back to everywhere we've already been sometime in the future. Just don't know when yet. New, will the new album be the most heavy or the same in regards to Reincarnate? I think it's very similar. But I think that a lot of the riffs are heavier than Reincarnate, so... Advice for aspiring musicians. 
be prepared to spend a lot of personal time and money and be frustrated and uh, put everything aside except for music if that's what you want to do because that's a sacrifice that all of us made a long time ago was to put everything including friends and family off to the side to do you know pursue our dream so if that's something that you're willing to do then have at it good luck it's tough <laughs> The Cure or Bauhaus? I'm gonna say The Cure. Uh, let's see. Favorite interview we've done? We did an interview for Rock Sound Magazine. I think it's out now. Uh, we did an interview in, in London and uh, they had a bunch of fans ask us questions and they did a photo shoot while we were doing the interview with the fans asking us all questions and it was really really cool how it worked and I thought it was really awesome to be able to kind of interact with fans and and get their questions as opposed to someone that does interviews for a living and you know ask the I, I want to know what what you guys want you know I would rather answer questions that you guys have rather than anything else because you guys are the thing that matters and you know we, I don't know. It's just, it's just fun. There's, there's more of a connection when we, when we answer your guys' questions to your face. It's, it's yeah. great. So I wish that, that. Uh, I think more people that do interviews should do that with fans. Bring certain amount of fans in to ask questions with them. Yeah. I think that'd be a cool concept if more yeah. people started doing that. Let's see. What would you be doing if you were not in MIW right now? Go ahead, Ryan. I, I don't know. I'd probably still be writing music. It's just I can't tell where I'd be at this very moment. I, when I lived in uh, Seattle, I went to college for film production because that's something that I was really interested in. And music was always kind of my, my passion from the get-go. But as I got older, I started getting interested in film and... and uh, video production and that kind of stuff and so I had this whole plan that I was going to graduate with a film degree and then move to LA and do something in the film industry whether it be you know cam camera work or editing or um, just anything you know I, that's just what I wanted to do and then about halfway through college I, I quit and said I want to I don't I want to play music I, I don't care anymore so I think maybe if I wasn't doing music I would be living in LA and making doing film stuff i don't know i would still love to do that at some point maybe in the future so ryan when you say electronic you mean more synth kind of like the creatures album slightly mm -hmm. that question is very very worded, <laughs> worded very weird uh yeah I, I don't want people to get the wrong idea that we're going in some weird direction that you guys aren't gonna like it's yeah more synthy stuff it's, not like 80s pop electro shit. It's, if it's that's what you're thinking it's of. It's taste, tasteful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite brand of amp to use off stage? Hmm. What do you think? No, the 6505 is still solid, but it, it, it's also used for metal mostly I mean, mm -hmm. it could change for for every genre we don't only play metal when we're playing guitar at home or whatever yeah so i would like to like to try uh we used a, an angle a power ball on the the last record and i've never got to use one outside of uh recording settings so i would love to use one and just kind of finagle with it and see how that how that goes, but uh, I'm gonna have to go with Ryan and say the the 5150 or the 6505 is the the way to go. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of some of the orange amps as well. The Tiny Terror is really cool. If anyone has that, let me know how it is. Let's see. Would you rather be best friends with Dexter Morgan or Walker White? Who was Walker White? Walter, probably. Oh, Wa Walter White. <laughs> oh, man. Don't, 
I'm gonna say Walter White for sure. I don't know if I would want to be friends with Walter White because I feel like he would just take advantage of me and use me to get to, to some other objective that he needs at the moment. So, but then if I'm friends with Dexter, then that I have the potential to, you know, die. So, uh, that's a tough one. That's a good would you rather. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna say Dexter. <laughs> Who can drink the most in the band? Probably AJ. I mean, he's not he's in the band, guy. but our crew guy AJ is, he can, he drinks like a fish. It's true. Uh, I hope he's watching too. <laughs> I hope he is too. <laughs> AJ, if you're watching, hi. Ryan, how is it living with me? <laughs> Interesting. It's a, uh, it's different every day. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a perfect answer. Mm -hmm. Do we have any questions for them? Ooh. Do you? Uh, who's coming to, to see us on Warp Tour? Is everyone excited okay. for the new song? Are you excited for the album? Who's not excited? <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone not excited? I think we'll get less responses with that. It'd be easier to read. Oh god, it's pausing. Let's see. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, we're not Did we lose it? I don't know. We're not getting any more um not getting any more comments. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe they're excited for the album. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just don't respond. Maybe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Should I go back up and see if we have more? Who do we want to tour with now? I think Hill Switch would be sick. But I've just also been on a little kill switch kick lately, so I might be a little uh, biased towards that. It says our time's still going and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Does it refresh when we do this? No. Hmm. Is anyone still seeing us right now? Do you see it on your phone? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess we're still on, no, but no questions are coming. Yeah. I guess no one, no one has any more questions. So, I we'll, guess, will we see them if we refresh on here? I guess. It's up to you guys if you want to keep going. I guess I'll. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. There's the questions. For some reason, the app is not is not working. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is good. <laughs> it's just likes. <laughs> Who would we... Oh my god. Chris is doing a workshop on Warp Tour. Are we joining him? I just found out that Chris is doing a, wor uh, a workshop on a Warp Tour. Uh, I had no idea until a couple days ago. Uh, but... I don't know, I don't think that we're involved in that, but I will probably sit in on one and just make them uncomfortable because I like to, <laughs> I like to do that. Whiskey. Someone said whiskey. Uh, yes, whiskey. What about it? I don't know, they just... Do you enjoy whiskey? And let's see. Has Angelo tattooed either of us? No. Mm -hmm. I would let him. But he has not. Just a little bit. If you could do a song with any artist, dead or alive, what would we do? Or who would you work with? Ooh. I could think about that all day. <clears throat> it's a tough one to be put on the spot for. Uh. Okay. What would your weapon of choice be if the zombie apocalypse happened right now? Weapon of choice, Ryan, go. Whatever I could find in this kitchen over here, probably. 
That happened so, right now? Yeah. Oh, shit, that's in this room I could grab. <laughs> There's probably some knives, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll be alright. Who is... I can't read these. Who is... Oh, where did that question go? Damn it. Do you ever receive songs from fans? Sometimes people will give us demos, and usually we will listen to them on Monday. What is it? Monday? Yeah, demo, demo Monday. Demo Monday. <laughs> but we don't get really get any anymore. I don't know why, but... It's a bummer. Do you gent? No, we don't gent. <laughs> Guess what? Vin gents. Go ask him about it. Vin loves gent. Uh... Will we ever film a Warp Tour music video? That would be cool. Yeah. I'm not opposed to that. I don't know. I don't think that that's a thing in the works or anything, but I would not be opposed to that being a thing. Uh, have you seen Deadpool? Yes. Ryan, have you seen Deadpool? Yeah. Pretty funny. Not gonna lie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> Jack Daniels or Jim Beam? Well, Ryan doesn't like whiskey. Yeah, I'm not a whiskey kind of guy. I'm gonna say Maker's Mark over both of those. Or, uh, or Jameson. Would you let Chris tattoo you? Probably not. I don't know what his artistic skills are, but I don't know. Judging by his handwriting, yeah. I'm gonna say no. Uh, I would probably let Ghost tattoo me though. Mm -hmm. I'd probably let you tattoo me. Nah, I'd tattoo myself first. I'm, I can't draw for shit. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, there's so many things coming in so fast. Uh, Pre-show rituals. What is it? Not really. Stretch, throw some, get our, uh, our outfits ready and just go on out. Yeah, we don't really have any uh, weird things that we do. You know, Chris and Ghost warm up vocally. We all kind of stretch a little, get loose and um, nothing really crazy. Uh, let's see. Flying in. Yeah. More, most important pedal you guys use live. Uh, I'm gonna say the tuner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't have a tuner and you play guitar, you are making a big mistake. That's literally the most important thing. Ever. That's that's more important than even knowing how to play the guitar, probably. <laughs> So, and I know there are some of, of you out there that don't own a tuner, so get on that. Uh, you want to scroll through these? Yeah, I'll take a look through. What do you think about the new Star Wars, Rick? I didn't see it. Me neither. I know a lot of people talked about it, but I, I didn't see it at all. I'm not, a, I'm not a big Star Wars guy, honestly. I've seen probably one of them. My sister texted me and said she's watching on the live live chat right now. <laughs> hi, sister. I'm not gonna say your name because I don't want people to come find you, but hi. <laughs> I'm thinking about you. Love you guys. <laughs> See anything? It's going so fast. Uh, Ryan, are you keeping the beard for warped? Should I? Also, am I dying at pink? Mm -hmm, probably not. Let's 
see. Embar who okay. <laughs> What'd you get? Here's the here's the thing about they're asking about the most embarrassing thing that we've never told anyone. You really think that we're gonna <laughs> not tell anyone something and then go on a live chat and tell currently three point two thousand people. Yeah, right. <laughs> Any tips for amateurs, Ryan? What's your tip? Well, if you want a guitar, I suggest sitting in your room for about eight hours a day and not stop playing. And do that for a couple of years and see where it gets you. you know I'm sure you'll is, shred better than I will by then. You know what else is important? A metronome. Yeah. Download a metronome app on your phone and play to it. Actually, I don't know if that was a if that was a guitar amateur question or not, but uh, yeah. I mean, that goes for all instruments. Yeah, it's best to know how to play to a metronome metronome early on. Sons of Anarchy, oh yeah. Me and Ghost and Balls all like that show. <laughs> Signature guitars. That's a... Coming hopefully one day. I'd uh, be very excited to have a signature. Yeah, someday. Someday we will. Not at the moment yet. And then you guys can all have it too. Yep. Let's see. Do we know what dates we're doing the signings at at Warped? Uh, I have no idea what we're doing on a Warped. I, last, the last time we did Warped, we did a signing pretty much every day. So I imagine it's probably going to be similar to that. I don't know where though. I don't know if we're gonna have, if we're gonna be doing it at different tents or, or our tent or what. So just keep uh, keep your eyes out, and we will let you know once we have more information. Let's see. In World of Warcraft, huh? It's our drummer's favorite game. He plays it nonstop. You guys are slacking on the questions now. They're more yeah. statements than questions. Yeah. How long did it take to learn guitar? Well, I started playing when I was 12, and I'm 27 now, so. You still learn. Yeah, I'm, learn. S I'm still learning. Yeah. I started when I was 14, so. Just keep practicing and you'll get better. It doesn't necessarily matter how long you play, it matters how much you practice and uh, you can be as good as I am in a year if you practiced enough or you know, you can be worse than I am in 10 years of practice. It's just a matter of how much time you want to dedicate to your instrument. Let's see, we're going to do one last question. Because it's five o'clock right now, so we gotta wrap it up. Been on here for almost an hour. Yeah. Let's make it a good one. DJ, who is that? Where did that go? Where did that question go? This is important. So I can't remember what what it said, but someone said, "Can you shout out to my husband in the army?" Hi, husband in the army. No, no. We, we I, I couldn't remember what it said. It oh, went by shit. so fast. But tell him we appreciate all of his hard work in the service. And uh, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So um, tell him that we are deeply indebted to him. Let's see. 
One last question. Is that at? Oh God. <laughs> yeah, of course, do the one that's in a different language. That's a good last one. The one about oh shit. The one about um. Let's try to paraphrase. If it if it's more if it's harder to write the musical part of it or the lyrical part of music. I'm gonna say it's definitely harder to do lyrics because I'm terrible at writing any sort of lyrics. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they're equally as hard. I, I feel like the further that we progress as a band, the the harder it is to write to write music because now now we're not trying to go into it and say we're gonna write the heaviest thing ever and not care about anything else. And I feel like we're now at a point where it's kind of the struck song structure. And the flow of the song is just as important as everything else. And it's so hard to, you know, make everything structure and flow and and be one cohesive thing rather than just throwing a bunch of parts together and saying, oh, that's good enough, it's super heavy, cool. So I guess that's that's why I feel like music, writing music is so hard because it's, it's, uh, it's just hard to, to make everything kind of fit together the right way and, and uh, sound fluid and like one song, I guess. Because we, we get into a lot of situations where we'll have a riff or a part of a song that's, that's awesome and then we'll try and just cram it into a song that doesn't, that where it doesn't work. And we, we stress out about it because we want it to work so bad and then eventually we just have to end up getting rid of that part because we have to come up with something better that fits with the rest of the, the vibe of the song. And there's a lot of little little things like that that I don't think people realize about songwriting that happens all the time. So, um, yeah. And I, I don't m write much of the lyrics. Chris, Chris usually does all the lyric stuff. and. Um, I mean, I don't know how easy or how hard that is for him because I don't, I'm not there for any of that. So, uh, so I don't know. I, I mean, for me, I would say music because that's what I have the most hand in, and, and that's, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we're we're gonna wrap this up and uh, and uh, call it a day. So, thank you guys for tuning in and asking your questions. I hope everyone enjoyed their popcorn and soda. Uh, hopefully we can do this again at some point down the road with a little bit more information of what's going on. and uh, Maybe we'll be a little more prepared for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys on, on Warp Tour, and uh, we'll be playing a new song. Uh, keep your eyes on the dates to get tickets for your city, and we'll see all of you guys soon. Thank you guys for tuning in again. We love you. See you later. <laughs>